suppose, for, for a time, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, as a Christian leader outside of the Catholic Church, I think we need to remember that the separation of church and state was not designed to do away with religion. It's actually to protect religion and protect uh, particularly religious minorities. But we also need to be careful not to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Because I listen to Colm and he starts then talking about the justification for the Eighth Amendment, for example. Now, we need to remember that with separation of church and state, still it is Christians speaking out not from a position of power, but from the margins of society that saw slavery abolished, that have, that, you know, Martin Luther King and what he achieved in the United States of America and against racial segregation. So we need to be very careful in saying we want separation of church and state, that we don't then silence the voice of Christians okay. who have something worthwhile to say. Uh, on the issue of...